for this uh, art project I want to do a drawing of a fish and uh, I'm still working on this one but I want you to see that we're gonna make the fish kinda of big we're gonna put it in an aquarium I've already begun to add a few other things to my aquarium like the little seaweed the seashell but I want you to create those parts yourself I'm gonna show you how to draw the fish I'll help you with the coloring and then I want you to make up the aquarium think of it as if you went to a pet store and you could see lots at a pet store you could see lots and lots of porcelain ornaments or ceramic um, tunnels and cliffs and scuba divers and just all kinds of things that you could decorate a fish tank with so I want you to think about those things when we get the fish drawn I want you to add them into your picture I want you to create them because art is not just copying what somebody does it's creating but now I want you to copy so you can learn the drawing skills once you have those you can create your own pictures and it's a lot of fun a lot of fun I love it you could also put like the filter in there anything you might see in an aquarium or a fish tank so in order to get started we need a pencil and a sheet of paper let's start the fish right here so right there on your paper put a curved line it looks kind of like a smiley face mouth and then one the other way underneath it and that's going to be this part of the fish now we need to slide way over here put your finger and just slide straight 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 wider even than your hand further than your hand is wide way over here and put a dot not near the edge though okay now I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to practice with my finger making a curved line that goes from here curves and lands in here somewhere and if I miss that mark it's okay I can fix it there we go and I need to do the same thing on this side so let me practice it with my finger and you should do this too We're going to go from here very smoothly to here if we can. So I practiced it, and now I'm just going to run that line to there. While I'm there, I'm going to go right here and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to put, it's like a letter A, but it doesn't have a cross piece. And then I'm just going to bring this up to it curve this around and then I just make those lines run together I'm going to do something right here just a couple of curved lines and I'm going to double them up now if yours isn't perfect I've got some good news it doesn't have to be perfect All right. we went ahead and added a little detail back there which normally you don't put the detail to last but you know it's art so we can kind of do whatever we want, we want to do when we want to do it I'm going to um, go up here and put the fish's eye just look where I'm drawing it because getting parts in the right place is really really important in um, the drawing process it's like working a puzzle if you can get all the parts in the right place it's going to turn out great now fish do not smile I don't suppose but mine do because it's art and art's wonderful because you can do anything um, now we're gonna go back a little bit further and we're gonna put this gigantic curve thing it looks like a letter C a little bit just like that if yours is a little bit different don't worry about it it's okay it's going to be just fine. Okay, now 
we're going to go right down here and we're going to put a little curve thing like that looks like a really tiny rainbow and it's if it's as if I'm drawing the sides of a letter A but I'm not going to put the cross piece as a matter of fact I might go in there and erase that a little bit and then it's like an M M and again again and again until I reach that side and then a few details I'm going to put another line here in here this is on the other side so you don't see the whole thing and if you didn't get that right or you just want to take it off it's okay it doesn't really need to be there I'm going to go um, back here and do another one. Here's the little curve thing. It's like a letter A, sorta. It don't come to a point, but you know it slants. There's those little M shapes and a few details. And we're just putting fins on there. Now if you're having trouble erasing these little lines, it it's okay because when we color it, you know, they'll cover up a little bit anyway. Now just look where I'm hooking on. I call these hook on points. Just look. And we just want to curve a line like that. And now it's like a three. I put a three there and a three there. And maybe another one. Just hook them together few details and we've got another fin. Now don't get frustrated if you get behind. And if yours isn't perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. A lot of people could do the same picture and every single one of them do it a little bit different and it, they could all turn out to be good pictures. So it's not important that you get it perfect. Just take your time and have fun. Okay, we're going to put the fin on the back. We've got all this stuff down here. Now we're going to put this one on. And it starts about in the middle of the fish, so I'll mark that point. I like to mark my starting points so that um, when I draw the line, I don't have to think about that anymore. It helps me get the pieces in the right place, and that is so important. I'm just going to run that line that direction. I'm going to go back here, just anywhere back in here, and put another line the same direction. And now we've used little M's here and little, like, number threes there. And this is going to be like just little curvy like the bottom of a U. Little curvy lines. If you have more than mine, it's okay. If you have fewer than mine, it's okay. And if they don't hook up right, just add a little piece and make them hook up right. Here's some details. And this fish is just about finished. Just a simple little goldfish. There are some scales on the fish. We're not going to draw every single one of them. That would not be easy. And it's certainly not necessary. So these are like little C's. And people have trouble with those. Students have trouble. Look, if you just go in there and make a little C, little, a little C. I kind of did mine quick. A little C, a little C, a little C. And just spread them out. Just spread them out. I was doing them quickly because I've done them so many times. And if you have fewer than mine, fine. More, that's fine. All right. I'm going to give you just, just a minute to catch up if you're a little bit behind. And then we're going to put the bottom in our fish tank right like that it could be straight but I don't really like it straight I mean if you do you can make your straight it's fine I'm just going to hook on over here on the edge of the paper and 
run it this way and I'm not trying to make it really 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 straight it's sort of straight then I'm gonna hook on there and run it this way I'm gonna put a few little bubbles like that and I'll help you with the seaweed and then maybe the seashell but I want you to put some other things in here now I've already started coloring this so I didn't put other things but this whole picture is my creative thinking because I made it all up all right if you want seaweed you just wiggle up and then just follow it back down but spread it out in other words come down beside it wiggle come down beside it whatever you do just come back down beside it and it should be fine and I put this little thing at the bottom just to give me really just give me a place to put some dark color now the seashell is like the top of a rainbow and like smiling lips and then you just put these lines well this is one type my goodness there could be so many types and this looks a little bit like a clam but you could put crabs in there crawdabs um, sunken ship treasure chest string of pearls a little porcelain porcelain sign that says no swimming no fishing, a scuba diver. Now that might be tough. A mermaid, that might be tough. But you could try it, doesn't hurt. Uh, a jellyfish, and you could just think of so, so many things. All right, if you want these little simple fish, it's like that, and then I do an X, and I just put a few details. And it makes a really simple little fish. And I like to do them two at a time. For some reason, I just like to do them two at a time. Yours can be different, and you don't even have to do this at all. Just a little something extra. Okay, then comes the creative thinking. Now, um, you can pause the video and do creative thinking and then come back for the coloring because next I'm going to color and since I've got this one started I think I'm going to go ahead and work on this one because they're very very much the same very little difference in those two drawings so I'm going to color and um, I'm going to make sure that I take my time so I can color neatly because neat coloring is very important. Now if you want to pause the video and do the creative thinking, that's fine. Put some other things in your aquarium. And then when you get back to the coloring, then you can follow me. Okay, when you color. get comfortable. I like to color this direction. It's just more comfortable. I like to run my crayon back and forth like this. I call this short stroke coloring because it's not long stroke coloring. When you do long stroke, you run the risk of it looking like something that um, it looks like a windshield wiper. It looks like you tied your crayon onto a windshield wiper and colored your picture. I'd rather it be short because it's easier to control. and it helps you make it neat. Now, neat starts out pretty. If it's neat, it's already pretty and it can only get better. If it's not neat, well, it might turn out pretty, but it's gonna be more work. It's just easier to color neatly to begin with than it is to try to fix it later. At least it is for me. You will also notice that when I slide, I'm going this way, but I'm also sliding that way. 
I don't do it quickly. I color this way quickly as fast as I can, but when I slide up, I don't go fast because if I do, I get all those white streaks. Then I have to go back and knock them all out. And that's just extra work. And you run the risk of getting them darker and lighter. It's just easier for me just to do it neatly the first time. It takes a while, but you know, good work takes time. If you're in a great big hurry, well, it may turn out okay, but it will turn out better if you take your time. Now, eventually the crayon wears off. Sometimes you have to peel the paper back a little bit. This one's not quite ready to peel, but I do run into that a lot. The crayons I use are Crayola 24s because they give me the best results. You can use whatever colors you have. But if you're wondering what color this is, it's cerulean blue out of a box of Crayolas. It wouldn't matter what blue you used on this as long as it's a light blue. And if you're thinking, well, why does it have to be light blue? It doesn't have to be, but it works better because light colors are easy to work with. It's easy to make light colors balance. All right, that's about all I've got to say about this picture. And from here on, I'm just going to color.